Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Now I'm here. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about real estate. We're going to talk about the prices here in Ahihi. Jerry, I have something to do, so I'm going to let you do this. I'm going to do uh, go do my sewing. Okay, you're going to do some sewing. Okay. Yeah. Well, this morning I went out for my morning walk, and I was walking by some of the real estate offices. I noticed that they had some great beautiful homes for sale so I started looking real close and seeing what the prices were and I'm going to look at homes from five million US dollars to a hundred and nineteen thousand dollars in this video here prices are going up I was totally shocked I was so amazed I didn't realize that the real estate has gone up this fast and at this much volume here now you ready for this one this really blows my mind this is five million eight hundred thousand dollars and it is an estate it's big and stuff like that but at this price i've never seen prices like that here in ahi san miguel Allende, yes puerto vallarta yes sayulita yes but not that type of a price here in uh ahi mexico it's shocking Let's take a look at this unit here. This is a two bedroom, two bath. There's 36 homes in a gated community here. And it's a beautiful home, but look at the price, $695,000. That's US money. I don't know what's happening to the real estate here, but this is shocking. I break into this video here because we have a couple announcements we would like to inform you about. First, number one is Lori. Well, I have to invite you to Lake Chapala Society on July 9. I'm going to be a guest speaking about my escaping from Cambodia and about my book, What I Wrote In. Yeah, come and join us and it's going to be on Sunday, July 9th at 10.30 a.m. It is free. The other announcement that I'd like to make, we need your help. <laughs> we try to figure out how to make videos for you. And we wanna know going in a direction, do we need to change the direction that we've been providing videos for you? Maybe you're a new subscriber and you're new to our videos. We would like all of you to give us your input. What type of videos do you want us to make? There's various topics that we can do. We can look at videos where we're more or less concentrating only on information videos. Let's say videos, how to get a visa. Where is the best place to buy a home? Where is it safe to travel in Mexico and not be hassled by the cartels? Maybe you would like to see videos on banking, on credit cards, on how you get a loan in Mexico, where the doctors are at in Mexico, the dentists and stuff like that. Those are information videos. Mm -hmm. The other topic would be travel videos. We haven't done much traveling, but would you like to see more travel videos where we're going to the colonial cities and just giving you a glimpse of what Mexico looks like? Mm -hmm. Or if you would like to give us a percentage. So what we're doing, we're taking a survey, we're asking you for your help on what you would like. So this way we don't have to keep trying to guess what you want. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to see more videos on homes, what homes cost, mm -hmm. rentals, what rentals cost, stuff like that. Give us direction, point us in the direction you want us to go in our new direction that we want to take, mm -hmm. providing you more content in this uh, video series going 
forward. So give us a percentage. In other words, if you say, well, I'd like to have both. Really make a comment so we know exactly what you mean. You may say, I want 25% informational and I would like 75% travel, or I'd like 50% travel and 50% informational. Give us direction, please. And be specific, that would really help us out. Hey, thanks for taking the time to making a comment and filling out that survey for us. Thank you. We're not real estate agents, we're not brokers. So I'm just giving you a quick glimpse as you're, it's sort of the same way as if you're looking through the magazine here, a quick glimpse of what's happening down here. Now here in this uh, advertisement right here, we have one for $499,000. Let's take a look at that one. Okay, now let's look at this house here. This is actually a three bedroom, three bath, a little bit larger, lower price. We're in at $349,000. And uh, that seems to be now a middle range here. And so the other two I just showed you are much higher. That's not your typical houses for sale. This is more of a typical thing now. Another price right here, we're gonna be looking at one here for $250,000. Now you have to remember that uh, the high, high price homes, you know, that's not your normal situation. The sweet spot right in here is anywhere from $250,000 for a starter home. A $250,000 home today five years ago would have been about $150,000 to $200,000. So you can see how the prices have gone up. Next week, what I'd like to do is I would like to maybe show you the rentals, what rentals are, and give you an idea here of what the rentals are. Hey, how about making a comment? What do you think about the price of this home that I just showed you here? Is it something that you would expect to pay in Mexico? Make a comment. Okay. What's this, Lori? I bring some of your fruit and your coffee. Oh, thank you, thank you. Have okay, a... see you later. Okay, thanks, Lori. Oh, okay, now I see one here. This is a little more realistic in price. This is $185,000. Let's take a look at that one. Now being realistic with the viewers that typically watch our channel, they're looking for the budget and they're looking for the lower end price. Well, I found one here, 135,000.
Okay, now we've got to the $119,000 condominium here. This definitely is a starting point, and it goes up from here, as you've seen already. You know, I'd like your input on these uh, homes that I'm showing you here and see what you think about them. Are you shocked at what the prices are going on here? Just wonder about that. Make a comment. Huh? This is a dress I'm making. It's not very done yet, so that's why I had to do some more. Make a zipper on the back here. I have to do a lot of, you know, by hand first before I go in the machine. And this is kind of very difficult to make it because it's a, uh, how you call this? The oh. fabric, it have all the bead on it. Yeah. I have to do by hand first. Beautiful, honey. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you, Lori. Okay, this is the way I do. I have to do by hand first. And then later on, I go with the machine to make it sure it's very done professionally. Bye-bye. <laughs>